Hello everyone, welcome to BS Explained. This video will discuss uh, how to get rid of this connection is not private when you try to access the supervised station uh, on your web browser. So this pretty much says your connection to your station uh, or your supervisor from the web browser which is the TLS port. The HTTPS which you're using is not secure. So uh, there are a couple of videos in YouTube you can go back to for the detailed explanation of how it works and why does this thing occur. I'm just going to brief this video um, onto the steps that you will have to follow to uh, get rid of this non-secure um, warning and directly get into the login when you actually type in HTTPS localhost or log into HTTPS localhost uh, through the web browser. So uh, the usual way is when you have this, you uh, most of you guys have uh, encountered on your site while hosting your supervisor on your server or your laptops for clients. You get this, you go to advanced and then proceed to localhost unsafe. But there is a way that you can uh, totally avoid this. So. I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, first and foremost, there are two certificates that you'll have to deal with. So uh, this is the important part. You go to tools, you go to certificate management, and you're going to see the default Trinium one, which you already have. Now, remember this uh, window, which you see here, this is certificate management for your Niagara workbench. It'll We'll be creating a new certificate here. I'm gonna call this root CA, root CA. Uh, see where you can see what and all the required information is. You can give uh, pretty much each and everything here. But I'm just going to go ahead, give only the ones which are required. I'm gonna type in organization as BS explain, country code US. You'll see the certificate of this one which you're generating is valid from this date till this date you can add to this go up and down i'm going to keep it to just one year for now the one which you're trying to generate um a sub -signed certificate would be of ca we're going to consider a digital signature and non repudiation one here you will have to give out a password gonna try to give a password to this and confirm it with the same password just at a problem it might take some thing but it's already here so <clears throat> what it uh, physically does is or what it did is created a new certificate of your own uh, machine that you're going to use to sign other certificates which we will uh, talk uh, in the later part so the next step is you export this certificate this will be stored in the cert management of where your niagara is installed within the user account after you do this the next step uh, as i said this is certificate management for the Niagara Workbench. You will go into your supervisor certificate management under the platform. Now, while you do this, you'll see this changes to your certificate management for localhost. So you will create a new one here. I'm gonna just keep it simple, calling it localhost organization. I'm gonna keep it same as explained you can give whatever you wish to do here it's not compulsory it's not like license that you have how to have an organization or whatever here now in this certificate we're not going to do this will not be a CA certificate but this will be a server certificate uh, still remains the same of one year here for the validity of the certificate you can give as much as you want we're going to this as you can see digital signature is already uh, you, you cannot unselect or do this this is hidden 
So you're only going to select non repudiation and then get the signature or uh, get the certificate created. So you see, once you have created this, this LO which it says is this is not a signed certificate. You will have to self sign this certificate here to once you self sign the certificate, it turns green. So what we're going to do next is we're going to click on this local host, say certificate request. It will say missing city and locality and all this. This as of now doesn't matter. Once you complete all of that, you can get it. You save this uh, certificate request, which comes in the format of .csr and same path wherever uh, it goes to under the your Niagara workbench and then certificate management. Once you generate this, what we're going to do is go back to tools, something called certificate signer tool. You go here, you select the certificate you just created for the request .csr, open this. And what you will see here is the CA you created over there, root CA will be the one which is signing on to the server certificate and you will have to give a password of this one to get it signed and this saves it as .pm over here which becomes localhost.pm save this what we're doing now is on this same certificate we are going to import the one which we just signed being localhost.pm once you open this, click OK. Now you see that the local host has been signed and you can see the green uh, check here. So after this, the next would be under certificate management of the local host, you're going to use a store and you're going to bring in the root CA, which you exported earlier, which is of .pm, bring in here which is already self-signed as we have exported from this. Now, what this does is it has a TLS connection from your Niagara Workbench to your local host, a secure connection here. Now we might ask what is the next step, even like this is not it. If you go back here and then reload this, this is not going to change. There are a few more steps that you will have to do before you come out of the Niagara Workbench. So whatever station you're running or you want to access from the web browser, you go inside the station under config and under services, you have something called web service here. You will go inside the web service and you will see something called HTTPS cert or there might be main HTTPS cert depending on what uh, versions you're using and which vendor you're using. So this was on to default of Tridium. I'm going to change this to localhost. Save this, refresh, it's under localhost. I'm gonna go back and then reload this. It's still on take because the browser has to know which certificate you're trying to bring in or which has been signed and what you're trying to access. It still says certificate authority invalid. So uh, issue a root CA as you can see. Um, what we're going to do is, this is specifically for Google Chrome browser. Different other browsers have their own style. You might have to do a web search and see how to install your certificates to different other browsers. I'm, I'm just showing this for Google Chrome. So you go here, go to your settings. In the settings, you'll go to your privacy and security under privacy and security you'll see something called security here all the way to the down you'll see manage certificates you click on this and then here in the local certificates is can see their custom installed by you you click on this one there's trusted certificates you import this it will bring you or just go into this path where you have stored this and bring in your root CA certificate which will bring in over here. So now that the browser has the certificate here, 
what we're going to do is if we reload this you'll see without even going back to advanced okay proceed unsafe now this is an actual secure uh, connection that you can access it from your web browser now remember just to show you again if if you don't select this HTTP certificate as local host, what if I if I go back to Tridium here, save this refresh, go back to my web browser and refresh this page, it takes it away. It still says certificate authority. So the one which you have signed with the root CA and which you have installed in your web browser, both has to be the same. So once you save this, go back. If you run this, it will come back to your uh, web browser without an unsecure warning saying hey you have unsecure connection just have it secure so this is how you do it this will be the the way which i installed inside of the browser will be different to different other browsers if you're using microsoft edge or mozilla firefox so do a web search on on, on those browsers of how to install or import your uh, certificates and uh, uh, get it installed and it will work the same so hopefully this uh, exercise of what I've shown helps out everybody in the field who are going through this and uh, telling your clients no you'll have to press on advanced and proceed so you can avoid that and then give them a direct login page here of the custom page uh, if you have built any which will um, avoid all the hassles of the coordination between your client and your field technicians hope this video helps you guys uh, please always come back to the videos let me know uh, what else you know, would you like to see in the videos or uh, keep posting your comments um, and show your support cheers thank you